With over 13 million people, Tokyo is one of the most populous cities in the world. It's also known for its world-class public transport system. Trains rule the day, but automobiles still have their place, and now you've been tasked with building the infrastructure to accommodate them. It's up to you to build the Tokyo Highway. In this two-player game, you'll go head-to-head -head with an opponent in order to place your 10 cars first. In addition to the cars, each player begins with 15 roads, 30 gray pillars, and 3 yellow pillars. The game is set up with opposing on-ramps one road distance apart. Players alternate expanding their highways by building a column and connecting the road to it. On your turn, when you build your column, you must use one more or one less pillar than the column you are connecting to. Then you'll lay a road and connect your highway. This means that your roads will never be level and will be at an incline or decline. If your road crosses over an opponent's and there are no other roads above it, you can place a car on it. The game includes tweezers in order to reach tight spaces that are bound to arise. You can also run a car if you go underneath an opponent's road, but I found that much harder to do without knocking everything over. But the tweezers are really handy if you want to attempt it. Speaking of which, if you knock over an opponent's pieces, you must give them one of your pillars for every piece that you knock down. If you ever run out of pillars, you lose the game. The yellow pillars are special and can be built to any height. In addition, they can be used as junctions, allowing your highway to branch out and giving you flexibility in your placement. Like I mentioned previously, it tends to be easier to build over your opponent, but that also means building tall columns and that uses more pillars, which will put you at risk of being eliminated from running out of pieces. On the other hand, if you build a tall column and your opponent knocks it over, they'll have to hand over lots of pillars themselves. There's some surprising depth to Tokyo Highway, but eventually it will rest on your ability to execute and show off your dexterity. And this is where things start to fall apart, literally. As the highway system becomes increasingly complex, placing your next road will become more and more difficult. Knocking something over is pretty common, especially as you're learning. After you hand over your pillars, you now need to put the highway back together before proceeding. This can be more difficult than you might think. I've actually had to abandon games because in the process of rebuilding the structure, I knocked over even more roads and couldn't remember exactly how things were laid out. This happened on more than one occasion. Certainly you could say that this wouldn't be a problem if I was just better at the game, but a big part of the strategy is laying out your roads to force your opponent to knock them down. It's inevitable that something will fall over your time with the game, and even if you can put it back together, it really brings the game to a halt and messes with the flow. And it's a shame really, because it's quite an attractive showpiece and the blend of spatial reasoning with dexterity play is really clever. But it just takes too long to play for the amount of game that there is. It gets by on its novelty and for that I can give it a mild recommendation.